Right, tenant payment check. Let's keep it simple, stupid, as I would say. So uh, for us, everyone pays on the first. And I think for the majority of the room, that's what you guys are going to do, aside folks that are doing LHA. Standing orders, if you're able to, and preempt late payments. Remember I said that we reduced down the late payments by 67% by saying, hey, just a friendly reminder that uh, rent is due in three days' time. Because although tenants are supposed to pay with standing order, they will cancel it, they will change their bank, you know, all sorts of things will go on. So you just want to reduce that down. Check the bank on the first. It will definitely happen. Don't be frightened about it. Um, I spoke a few days ago to a lady. You guys don't know her. I'd never met her, actually. But my team had booked in a little call with her. Now, she happened to be... Uh, owed money by an investor who hadn't paid her back uh, and she was on the phone to ask some advice as to what she should do and I was pretty straight speaking because I don't know if you know I'm an early bird so by 6 30 at night I'm quite tired because I've probably trained I've gotten up I've probably worked from 6 7 in the morning I've trained twice you know I'm knacked by that point so you're gonna get super straight speaking by that point I'm going so what have you done about getting paid and she said well I sent him an email in September what like well, of course, I was just like, of course the person's not going to pay you because you've told them you don't need to be paid. She's like, yeah, but I've got a legal agreement. I said, and? And she wanted to go after the lawyers that had created the legal agreement. I'm just like, mate, you just need to show this guy that you are not water trickling down the hill. And that's really what debt management is. You need to get past the emotional thing of this tenant hasn't paid me. I live in fear that tenant won't pay me. Correct. 10% of my working professional tenants don't pay on time. <laughs> you know, that terrible, am I bothered? Well, yeah, it annoys me, but it's no big deal because I know 10% won't pay in time, everybody will pay by day 10. So go past the emotion and really your job is to, to make sure that you are not the path of least resistance to allow water to trickle downhill. Because if somebody owes you money and you don't ask to collect it, they're going to assume that you're going to continue with the status quo. And my status quo is everybody pays me. And that's just the status quo. So have a method of communication, have a communication style, whether it's text, call, letter. And again, getting past the emotion of, oh my goodness, this has happened to me for the first time, what do I do? We have everything templated. We have our text templated, we have our letters templated. So all Josh has to do is fill in a little thing. It says, dear tenant, you are late in paying your rent of, and then we have an underscore, and they fill in by hand, 700 pounds. That's it. It's the only bit of brain power the guys need to use. Everything else goes out. We have letter one, letter two, and then letter before legal action, which is letter three. So there is no emotional involvement in any shape or form. It is simply, a pro oh, they haven't paid. Let's do the letter. Let's just get the process done on a daily basis until they pay. And do you know what? They pay. <laughs>